Hello, this is Dr. Grande. Welcome to my video on calculating the difference between two dates using the month view control in Excel VBA. I have on this worksheet this red rectangle. And if I right click, move down to assign macro, you can see this is connected to a subroutine named open form. So if I cancel out of this and go to the Visual Basic Editor, that's Alt F11. You can see I have this subroutine open form and it just has one line of code main.show main is the name of this user form here so if I go back to the worksheet and click on this rectangle you can see I have this user form and it just has this command button and this date time picker and if I click the arrow in the date time picker it brings up this month view However, it's not visible unless I click on the down arrow. There is a control, however, that just has this month view called the month view control. So if I move back, close this out, move back to the Visual Basic Editor, and move over to Tools, or Toolbox, you can see that I have the month view control on the toolbox just below the daytime picker. To get the month view control, on the toolbox, just go to Tools up top, Additional Controls, and then in this dialog, I'm going to move down to Microsoft Month View Control, and check that off. Click OK, and this will the Month View Control will appear in the toolbox. So first, because I want to calculate the difference between two dates, I'm going to move two Month View Controls onto this user form. This will be the first one, and month view one by default, and then the second one, month view two by default. And then I'm going to add a text box. This will contain the number of days between the dates selected in the month view controls. So if I move back to the worksheet, open the user form, you can see I have month view one month view 2, and I can select dates. So I want the days between these two dates to populate in this text box. Move back to the Visual Basic Editor. I want the number of days to appear after I select the date in month view 2. So I'm going to double click on month view 2 and write the code in this subroutine sub month view 2 underscore date click. So I'll first start by declaring a variable. The variable will be x, so this will be dim x as long. Next line of code will be to set x to equal the difference between month view 2 and month view 1. So x equals month view 2 dot value minus month view one dot value and now to have text box one equal number of days it's just going to be text box one dot value equals x just these three lines of code so let's go back to the worksheet view open up the user form and you can see this is set to October 27th, I'll select October 29th, and over on the month view 2 control, I'll select October 31st. You can see populates the value 2, 2 days. If I move into November and select November 30th, you can see I have 32 days. So notice here that this text box only updates if I select a date on month view 2 because selecting a date on month view 2 is connected to that subroutine so if I change the date on month view 1 say from October 29th to October 30th it's not going to update this text box but I've moved back here and select November 30th again it will update you see 31 days so this will show the number of days between the two dates but how do we express other units? For example, 
the number of months or hours or minutes between two dates. If I move back to the Visual Basic Editor, I just need to express X in those different units. And I can do that with the text function. So if I move over to the user form, I'm going to put another text box on it. This will be text box 2. Move back to this same subroutine and I'm going to copy this line of code, text box 1.value equals x, and paste that, control C and control V, change this to text box 2, and instead of x, this is going to be worksheet function dot text. And for the first argument, I'm going to use the variable x. And for the second, in this example here, I'm going to use quotation mark m, quotation mark. This will give me the number of months between the two selected dates. So moving back to the worksheet, now we have text box 1, text box 2. Select October 29th, move over and select December 29th. You can see it's displaying 61 days and it's displaying three months. So I move back, so this first month view is on October 29th. So we move back to say December 25th, now it's showing two months. So it expresses days, displays days, and months. Moving back to the Visual Basic Editor, I'm going to place three more text boxes on here. I'll put them to the right of these others. One will be for hours, the next for minutes, and the last for seconds. So we have text box three, four, and five here. Moving back to the subroutine, I'm going to copy and paste this last line of code three more times and change the text box four and five. For hours, it will be uh, brackets H and close brackets. For minutes, I'm going to use open brackets two lowercase m's and close brackets. And then for seconds, I'm going to use open brackets, s, close brackets. We have hours, minutes, and seconds. So I move back to the worksheet, open the user form, select October 29th and month view 1, and October 31st and in month view 2 see we have uh, two days, we have one month, 48 hours, and we have the minutes and the seconds displayed as well. We move to November 28th and see it updates all the various units that are in these text boxes. I hope you found this video and using the month view control in Excel VBA to be useful. As always, if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to contact me and I'll be happy to assist you.